I really want to curse you out, but we're on public live television right now. Good afternoon, people. Welcome back to another video. We got our boy No Boost hiding somewhere, but he is here today. Weather here the last couple days has actually been mid 90s, pretty hot. Hottest it's been all year, which that may be really hot for some of you and not so hot for the other some of you. But anyway, I want to show you guys something quick to start off this video that has been bothering me for the longest, longest time. When I got the body work done on the 08, uh, the line X that comes, that comes over the rails has not been, was not taped off. Here he is. Here he is. What's up, fam? He, where, where, where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, you, know, you, yeah, you, you know, need life. Uh, explanation needed. Uh, life, the shore house. Why wasn't I here this week? Work, Cause work, you suck. work, yeah, work. But don't worry, I'll be around a lot here shortly. Oh boy, you're not ready for it. Nope. So when the body work was done on the 08, the Line X was not taped off when it was doing its wet sanding and buffing. So the buffing compound, that white pasty stuff that gets all over black plastic and never comes off, that got all over the bed rails. Let me show you guys that. So. Some of you may or may not have noticed this in the pictures. It's kind of hard to tell in the camera here, but there's this white crap and that's all buffing compound. So if you are going to wet sand and buff your truck or even buff it, make sure you tape off all your black plastic trim. Otherwise it really, especially because this is so grainy, what did it really... Did an army of birds come and poop on Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I keep saying I got to wash it. What the hell? I know. So uh, what I've been waiting on is a new hose for the pressure washer. So we got the old DeWalt 3400 PSI baby out. I already did this side and I was skeptical at really taking a pressure washer to the side of my truck be just because, but it has taken it almost all the way 99% off. I am relieved. It does not stand out like a sore thumb anymore. Uh, so just FYI. So we're going to continue just to make sure we're going to pressure wash that off and then we'll get started on some good stuff. Touch it. What? <laughs> <coughs> I said I didn't touch it. What did you do? I didn't touch it. You run out of gas? And you must have. Greg A no gas. Oh, we deleted all the gas. Dang it. Gosh darn it, how does this thing go on here? It's no boost proof. Apparently. Well that's not hard. <laughs> well how far did you get? Like almost done? All right, so you don't want to get too close, obviously. You don't want to take your paint job off, but get close enough, that baby comes right off. Clean. All right, Not I guess clean. we're done with this for now. All right, so seeing that we ran out of gas, we're gonna go to uh, plan B here quicker than expected. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, we are probably, get the heck out of the way. I gotta be in the camera, I haven't been in it in like a week. No, nobody wants to see you. Everybody says you're a distraction. I am a distraction. You are a distraction. But I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, we are going to take apart the uh, rear suspension and see what we can do to lower the rear of this thing just a little bit. It's got two helper springs, which I'll show you guys and go over once we get the wheels off. Uh, but just like how we lowered the rear on uh, that truck, that truck, and all the rest of them, uh, basically they can come apart and pretty much not really change anything. Just uh, do a little Greg A delete on one of the uh, helper springs and that should be good enough. This truck is not going to be towing the big trailer or anything like that anytime soon even if it could the power difference between this truck and that truck it just it's not gonna it it could do it i'm not saying it can't do it but what we're gonna do is not gonna affect it so don't you guys even worry about it first step is to take off those awesome spike lug nuts that we got to take all the covers back off loosen them up and then get the wheels off jack it up All 
right, so once you have the wheels chalked, vehicle up in the air, jack stands underneath the frame so the rear is completely suspended, uh, go ahead and take off your rear shocks. We'll get them out of the way and then the rear can pretty much be lowered. Uh, we'll end up undoing the U-bolts on both sides. That should drop the rear low enough. We don't usually mess with the brake lines or the drive shaft. They usually have enough slack in them to drop it far enough to access the stuff in the rear that we want to uh, mess around with. Wow, there's a lot of shock travel in them things. Look at the length of that bastard. Holy smokes. <laughs> I wonder how much up is in them. Hmm. They apparently did a one to one ratio back then. Yeah. These wow. shocks are uh, recommended for uh, lowered height and up to eight inches of lift. Yeah. These things are probably shot. Yeah, that oh, one's, that one's that. definitely <laughs> shot. Look at that. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think, think we're still good, boys. I think the other one is still good. Eh. Not really. Well, <laughs> maybe we should see if we can still get some shocks tonight, boys. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that one's definitely dead. <laughs> I probably should have planned this a little bit better. <laughs> Easy shock removal. <laughs> Greg, a shock delete kit coming right up. Oh, we are. It's already done. All right guys, so drop the rear down, got this side disassembled. This is still pretty much basically what the leaf pack does look like. You have your main pack right here, then you have a small helper and then a big helper down here. This big helper is what I think is gonna make us achieve our ride height. Uh, on these first gens, it looks like there is just one centering pin which centers into the perch of the axle. Uh, so basically what we did over here is take that centering pin out uh, basically it is, the centering pin is rounded on the bottom, so really just a good set of vice grips to try and hold that and some good lubricant. So with this disassembled, uh, basically what we have run into is, so here's the centering pin and as you can imagine, it being this old of a truck, the threads and the way it came apart was not all that great. The U-bolts as well, seeing that we are going shorter distance, uh, if it would ever focus, as you can see, uh, the U-bolts, we actually need threads up a little bit higher seeing that we are lowering it. The bolt would usually sit right about here normally and we're gonna probably have it sit right about here. So seeing that that has come up, this will probably not get done tonight. Lucky I have a big uh, truck suspension shop that's not too far away. They custom bend U-bolts. So I'm basically just gonna bring this to them Probably get some new top plates as well because you can see these are pretty worn. Uh, but basically, they will give me all new hardware. Uh, usually what I do for these centering pins is the hole here is actually big enough for a regular bolt. So what we're gonna do is go run, grab some uh, hardened hardware uh, for this. What are you doing over here? I'm hurting myself. You're messing me up. Sorry. So we're gonna go grab some new hardware uh, get the Leafs pretty much ready to go back up in minus the new U-bolts and hardware anytime you're doing uh, this unless it's a newer truck I've done it, but you can kind of see these things. Well, maybe not because it never wants to focus right now They're crooked They're crooked. They're, bent. They're all kinds of jacked up. There They're you go. Useless. You can see it a little bit, but those are no good, you don't wanna put those things in because this thing is gonna make a whole whopping 300 horsepower probably when we're said and done with some modifications here. So we need to make sure that this powerhouse of a rear doesn't walk away from us. So we're gonna go grab that stuff, I'll bring you guys along and then we'll jump to something else here. Also gonna fill up the gasolina tank. Fire up this filthy, oh my God, we gotta wash this thing guys. We have got to wash this thing.
do the old hand trick. Jesse, this is all your fault. Oh. We never get anything done when Jesse's here. That's true. We were, however, just talking about how poor old Pap Scrap. Show him. Show him how, how uh, I thought he was at his resting place. I had such an easy life before you started he, messing with me. He thought he was all done. Don't mind Andy. Said, oh, I'm at my resting place. I had a I had a hard life. Maybe not a hard life. Greg, good good life though. Greg A deletes came along and said, Hell no, you ain't known, bro. We got you. Hell patch scraps getting surgeries every other day. We got a new uh turbo base. That would be a heart, a motor's a heart. What? I don't know, I'm talking to motor. Dude. Oh, even the, even dude, the, even the, no way. Even the power washer's getting a good old 93 oh, octane. Yeah, that's right. Some of you guys don't even have 93 where you're at. My power washer gets better gas than your truck does. Or your car. Or moped. Whatever type of jalopy you prefer. I want a moped. Nobody cares. They're like fat girls though. We They're fun anything, until your friends find out. We don't get anything done while you're here, you know that? <laughs> it's not my fault yeah. that you run out of gas and you need bolts and you need everything else when I'm here. Okay, so I, I was halfway expecting to try and maybe get this done in one day, but seeing that we didn't know what size hardware or anything we needed, I could have planned and tried to get new U-bolts, but we would end up getting, we would want it. Ah, we wouldn't. This is a five gallon container. Greg A is living on the edge, boys. We could have <laughs> tried to got the correct <laughs> hardware, but I would have probably guessed wrong. So, whatever. We're just gonna blame it on Jesse. In my eyes, this is great. Not the sun in my eyes, but in my eyes, thinking about us having to go get bolts, it's great because we get this pass Wawa which I don't know if all of you guys know about Wawa. Wawa is the best convenience store in the entire world. And it's only in like six states on the East Coast, and we're lucky enough to have them all over the place. So if you haven't been to a Wawa, you should probably find a state and go to one. Did we grab the centering pin? I don't oh, know. Oh, we didn't grab the centering pin. You know, Greg A. Yeah. My job was the camera, and I had that. Your job. Oh, your job. <laughs> you can't even, so now, you gonna, can't even go left here now. I'm pretty sure it's three eighths. <laughs> We're gonna go turn around and get it. Yeah. Cause I'm not guessing. Jesse. The nut would have been just as fine. I forgot I had we it. We didn't need the whole bolt nut, we just needed the nut. You, you ding -a -ling. I really want to curse you out, but we're on public live television right now. You're an idiot. I forgot I grabbed this off the ground and put it in my back pocket. Just yet another reason why we can't get anything done. We're going, we're going with half brain over here. Alright, we're finally headed westbound now. Be steady. Oh, okay. Little bump. No parking. Look at how nice this looks now. Yeah, it looks a million times better. You know what we need at the shop? No, not you. Well, besides that. Yes. What? A fasten all bin. Yeah. Yeah, for it automatically to fill itself up too. Right. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. What are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I need this for with working with you in case you drop things on me. Hey -o. Little six seven jobby. Okay, 
got a little lift jobby on it. Did we get everything, Greg? I don't know. Who knows? If we didn't, you're going to blame it on me? Yes. Perfect. Then in my eyes, we got everything. The one and only Wally World. We gotta park in the middle of nowhere so nobody comes and parks next to us. Mark my words, when we come out, somebody will have parked next to us. Even though we are literally, actually, you know what? We're gonna do one better. We're gonna park all the way over here. Gonna take up two spots. So this is a project that one of you guys suggested. So we are going to do a little dent removal, possibly, if we ever make it home. Oh, oh, oh! See that? See that? All right, let's go. This is the, we we have no diesel content in this video. This is literally <laughs> the Adventures of Dragon No Boots right now. <laughs> this is always what happens. <laughs> Dude, check this huffy out. You're looking for a beach cruiser, check Walmart out. One nineteen for this bad A Huffy. <laughs> Greg A is so over me right now. And he's contemplating going to Applebee's right now. I wonder if we pre deflate the ball. We're already do I wonder if I'll give me half off if it's already deflated. <laughs> yeah, it's got a hole in it. What did you do? I didn't do it. I ate and now I'm tired. We're losing daylight fast here, boys. <sighs> Need to get something done. All right, so we happened to get a clean five gallon bucket to try and catch and save some of this coolant that we are gonna drain out here. So the device that I have come up with, and we'll see if it works, but I got this flexible drain and hopefully lands right in the bucket because it just so happens that these first gen drains are in the most absolutely terrible spot. But we're going to do our best to try and not spill all over the driveway. Alrighty, coolant is done draining. Only managed to make a slight amount of mess. Not anywhere near compared to last time. Alright, time for some dent removal. What do you say? Oh yeah, yeah. Alright guys, well, we did what we could. It is a heck of a lot better. If you have any tips or tricks for the remainder of it, we will gladly try that. What is happening is down here, the rest of the dent is, oh, let me show you. The rest of the dent is all the way, there you go, all the way down in this corner right here, which we stuck the basketball down even deeper uh, but it is starting to uh, tear that support. Yeah, starting to tear. I think it was already probably cracked, but it's starting to get a little bit worse. So I don't want to keep going with that. Uh, so I don't know really what to do now. I mean, leave it in the comments below. Somebody, uh, painless, painless dent guy, see what you think. But because it's, you know, really dived in right there, to push this out is going to take some extreme extreme force probably but heck of a lot better heck of a lot better it looks worse on camera yeah it's not that bad in person honestly oh greg a gas are over here gotta love these non-spill proof cans they're the worst things in spilling all over the, the damn world. place well guys it's pretty much already nine o'clock you can blame Jesse for the lack of work being done today. <laughs> but tomorrow we are going to get rear shocks, new U-bolts. We already got the new pins. 
We're gonna get some towels to clean up the gas that's spilling all over everything. Maybe we'll you're, walk. You're fired. This is ridiculous. Look at the cheese, Louise. It's a natural wax for the floor. Yeah. This poor cement floor was perfectly clean. The previous owner, the original owner of this house, had a nice brand new Corvette that was the only thing in this garage. I said, yep, we're gonna fix that. Alrighty guys, we gotta shut the garage doors. We got we got some massive bugs they they are attracted to the light but that is going to do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching we did get some things accomplished with jesse here this is a lot accomplished so <laughs> no not anyway thank you guys for watching we're going to get that wrapped up tomorrow with some other stuff Big things coming hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you guys tomorrow see you